neat pg results are out and many of you were asking to make a strategy video on inict november 2025 preparation so i will say that it is completely your own choice whether to give inict or not it is completely your choice there are two ways you can choose any one of them i had created a poll before the results where most of you said that you will be appearing for the november inict exam if the answer is yes let's dive into this video if you are ranking in between 1 to 40000 then i will say that definitely you should give inict a try if you are ready to give more 3 months to your preparation because in last year november inict with 27000 rank also an aspirant got community medicine with rank of 30000 one aspirant got fmt so there are a lot of chances now inict is not only just for the top 1000 or 2000 rank now the seats have increased a lot first thing that you need to know is the marks weightage of inict before giving any exam you should know the pattern of the exam to give it the best shot like i have given the marks weightage and the topics that are important firstly in anatomy neuroanatomy and the dissection are important 10 questions came physiology 15 questions came graph are important but this marks weightage is not completely fixed like that of NEET PG. INICT marks weightage varies a lot. For example, in INICT 2024 May, only two questions came from community medicine. But this year, you can see 13 questions came from community medicine. So the marks weightage is not same, but mostly it is focused on pre and paraclinical subjects. If you want to take a screenshot, then you can take the screenshot or else I will give this PDF in my Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box below. The main point I want to focus is that the pre and paraclinical subjects constitute 50% of the questions and also the major four subjects constitute 31% of the questions. So you need to have a really strong hold over the major four clinical subjects and the pre and paraclinical subjects to get a desired rank in INICT exam. First thing is the notes. Your notes is your ultimate source of preparation. So you should stick to the notes you followed for the NEET PG preparation. If you are appearing for the INICT for the first time, then the notes you are following, you should stick to it. Stick to any revision source. Main notes are only for the toppers. For the mid rankers and for the top 1000 rankers also, revision source is the key because nowadays main source is very much vast and it is not concise. For that reason, nowadays revision source have replaced the main notes. Revision source are crisp, concise and also high yield at the same time. So you can do prep ladder rapid revision, marrow revision, DBMCI revision or BTR. It is also a good source. TND or DVT. You can use as a supplement to these revision sources as a sole source TND and DVT does not have that much high strike rate of maybe 80% or 70%. If you are planning for NEET PG 2026, then only you go for the extension of your video plan or else for this INICT, no need to extend your video plan. Just focus on your notes. In this time, I will tell you to annotate the previous year questions and the extra points you are getting from the previous year questions in your notes so that the more number of times you revise that, you will see the important previous year questions and the extra points. Then you will revise it multiple number of times because this year also 111 questions came from the previous year topics in the INICD. Second thing is MCQ. Since this is an MCQ based exam, so you should practice as many as MCQs as possible. At least 50 to 100 MCQs daily, you should make it a habit. Now, many of you will ask me that whether to solve PYQ modules only or whether to go for QBank. Since the time is limited, I will advise you not to go for QBank because QBanks are made by the PGTs only and many extra points which are important for the post graduation perspective are also given in the Q bank. So most high yield are the previous year question modules because the previous year questions are the topics from which INICT focuses majority of the questions approximately 60% questions 
come from the previous year topics of NEET PG and INICT. So you should focus mainly on the INICT previous year topics that is 10 years of INICT and 3 years of NEET PG. For previous year questions also the app which you are having either Marrow or Preplatter these two are good QBank apps. For Marrow the explanation is extensive and very much good. For Preplatter it has crisp explanation and audio explanation also. But you will get 8 years. So you can supplement more 2 years from Reflex. Because Reflex has this 2014 to 2016 AIMS papers also. One thing you can do while using Reflex is that it is arranged in chapter wise sequence. So if you think biochemistry ka general biochemistry is finished in the morning. तो फिर उसका एमसीक्यूज कर सकते हो उसके बाद न्यूट्रिशन खत्म हो गया विटामिंस जो कि बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है उसके बाद उसका एमसीक्यूज कर सकते हो बट यूज द आईएनआईसीटी फिल्टर ओके नीट पीजी और एफएमजी का उतना ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है फॉर द आईएनआईसीटी पर्सपेक्टिव एंड जैसा मैंने कहा कि एम्स का 2014 से 2016 का एक्स्ट्रा पेपर्स है 2011 टू 2013 का भी है रिफ्लेक्स में but I am not advising you to give because it was the older AIMS pattern question where factual questions used to come. But from 2014 onwards, the new AIMS pattern has started and more and more conceptual questions are asked like the recent patterns. So you can give these six papers as standalone GTs also. And reflex, as I said, that it is not good for the sole source. As a supplement, like if I go to gym, I take whey protein supplementation. But my main khana to dal chawal hai na. To us hisab se, if you are having marrow or preplatter, use it as the main platform. For supplementing with the extra years and for quick review, you can use Reflex. Why I am saying this? Because abhi ke liye Reflex mein off hai. If you use the code restart to restart your preparation, you will get flat 300 rupees off on 6 month and 12 month plan. And it is very much affordable also. Coming to GTs, for GTs, you should give approximately 2 to 3 GTs every month. And for this, Marrow GTs are the best. It has no errors and all. So, Marrow GT is the best. And one exam you should give as a computer-based test also. So that you have the real exam hall scenario exposure. For that, TAMS conducts the CBT. And... GT में time crunch होता है उसको कैसे handle करें I am going to tell in the next slides and focus on the bottom four subjects after giving the GT while GT analysis you will get the bottom four subjects where you have the least percentile focus on them like I have anat micro biochem and PSM in my bottom four subjects I will focus on them before giving the next GT. Then automatically these subjects will come up. New set of four coach subjects will come down. Focus on them. Again, repeat the same cycle. Like this, you will cover all your weaker subjects. And in Reflex, if you are using, there are three INICT based GTs, which are specially made by Aditya sir. One GT I had also contributed and other toppers have also contributed in making these GTs. That's why I am saying that. Because these GTs will give you an INICT flavor. So if you are having reflex, then you can give it. And for the time crunch perspective, try to do 10 questions every 8 minutes. Like this, you will complete 50 questions in 40 minutes. Or 45 minutes ka ek go slot hota hai. So more 5 minutes you can go for revision as there are chances of committing silly mistakes. If you do and revise through all the questions, you won't have any silly mistakes in the exam. 20th notebook, it is a personalized thing. Don't go over buying 20th notebook from others. What it will contain? It will only contain volatile points which are previous year topics. Volatile points can be many but you should focus on the volatile previous year topics only. Because previous year topics are only important. Coming to the INI CT exam, it is a PYT driven exam. In May INI 2024, there were 150 questions from the previous year topics. In May INI 2025, there were 111 questions from the previous year topics. 
in the images the image based questions the first search image you get in the browser or the classical image you get is the given question so you can make a digital image bank of your own with the classical and the first search images try to attempt 185 to 192 questions this is the sweet spot i will say don't go too much high or don't go too much low you have to be in this zone to get a desired rank because at least 8 to 10 questions in the INICT are unattemptable don't go over attempting them because if you commit mistake then there is 0.33 marks negative negative yahan pe zyada hai so agar negative commit karte ho tumhara rank bahut zyada drop kar jayega for top 100 rank if you are targeting 150 corrects is the goal for top 1000 rank 140 corrects is the goal because i am giving you stats of i9 may 2025 corrects versus the approximate air because agar koi mistake zyada karta hai to fir uska air drop karega this is the approximate for top 10 rank 160 corrects top 100 it was 150 corrects top 1000 it was 140 corrects top 2500 it was 135 4000 it was 130 10000 it was 120 and 28000 it was 110 corrects so you can see the clustering zone starts after the 135 so target 140 corrects then you can get your desired branch from the INICT schedule if i have to say if you are watching this video on 20th of august then 28th of august to 10th october for first read 50 days second read you will do for 20 days up to first november and the last nine days preparation first reading this is the basic you must give the dedicated number of days for studying each subject you can have your own but if you don't have then you can follow this this is for the first read that is of 50 days you can take a screenshot for the second read this is for 20 days you can take a screenshot or join my telegram channel i will give the pdf for the final nine days you have to focus on the previous year topics read the previous year topics visit the bookmark previous year question because not just solving the previous year question you have to bookmark the important previous year questions and in the end you should visit them so that you don't make mistake because ek bhi pyq agar galat ho jata hai na wo maafi ke kabil nahi hai you have to have all the PYQs in your tongue tip. And the last you should revise is the 20th notebook that you have prepared yourself. If you follow this, you will get a decent and a respectable rank in the INICT November 2025. Now you can see two videos popping up. How is INICT different from NEET PG and what are the important topics for INICT? All the best for your future.